full C8 Corvette for everyone. But before we get into this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube page, click the bell to turn the notifications on, and don't forget to check out our website, autohouseinaples.com, for all of our current inventory and more information on this beautiful Corvette. All right, so the car that we have for everyone today is a 2022 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. This is a C8, and this one is the Coupe, and we've had a few of these, but we haven't had a Coupe yet. We've had uh, just the convertibles a lot lately. I like the front up here with the grille. It has a really fierce and aggressive look to it, especially finished in black. I think it makes it look even a little bit more tougher than the other ones. You do have a front plate up there if you are in a state that needs a front plate. No front plates in Florida, but um, I like that the front plate doesn't look kind of dorky without the uh, actual plate on. Uh, the Corvette emblem up front, that's really great shape. It looks really nice. That pop of red. I really like the headlights. They're just super sleek. And then with the lines on the car, it just looks really nice. We do have our key right here so we can open the frunk as well. So we'll just push and hold that twice and that'll pop up. One thing, again, I think I talked about some the last one. I really like the kind of like jagged lines on the hood of this. I think it looks kind of neat. You've just got these kind of like sharp edges. So then you got the full frunk up front. Pretty decent space. I mean, it's not bad. Got some fluids up there. Nice, easy access. about closing those I don't know why <laughs> so you've got your headlights and you've got all the lines on the car it looks really nice this one is a Florida only car and it does only have 1964 miles on it it's basically in, it's in almost new condition it's hardly been driven it's in really great condition I like these wheels as well these are five trident spoke black painted aluminum wheels. Really sporty look. I like kind of the trident at the end. It kind of webs out a little bit. And you do have the black wheel center caps with the gray Stingray logo on them. Those are really nice. And this car does have Michelin tires that are in basically brand new condition. They only got 2,000 miles on them. Up front we have 245 35ZR19s. 35 really great shape great condition oh yep and you've got your Corvette brake calipers and they're finished in black as well I really like the black look on this car it's just so sharp you've got your big side um, intakes on the side of the car the C8s have just a, such a specific look they're, it's really like sharp and I don't know like the lines on it are really neat I like the staggered wheels as well. So in the back, you'll have the 20 inch wheels. You got that trident, I don't know. They look really nice. I like these upgraded wheels. On the back, these are going to be 30530 ZR20s. And again, Michelin tires. One thing that's kind of different about this one that you don't see on all of them is this one has the high wing body colored spoiler on the back. I think it looks really neat. It gives it an even more sporty look and, you know, it's like ready for the track. I don't know. It looks like it gives it more of a kind of race car feel to it. On the back here, you've got your tail lights. I kind of like the look of it. You've got almost like two kind of like separate little tail lights over here. Really sporty. It's a wide body in the back. You've got your Corvette badging. This one does have the upgraded dual mode performance exhaust. So you're gonna have the stainless steel exhaust tips. It's gonna increase your horsepower by about five. <laughs> and then it's gonna give it more of an aggressive sound as well, which is really neat. So we can pop the trunk again in the back. It's gonna be the same as the other one. Just hold that down. And what's nice about this one is you're gonna have your space back here and then you're also gonna have your engine right there. So you got good space in the trunk. You know, you could probably fit some golf clubs in here, I would think, it's wide enough. 
and then you've got your engine bay as well it's really neat you can see the uh, the Corvette badging on the engine so this one is going to be a 6.2 liter V8 it's gonna give you 495 horsepower 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds and a top speed of 194 I just think that's absolutely crazy this is just such a this is a Haley car for sure you've got the carbon fiber on the engine is or like on the outside of here as well and when we close it up you'll see the engine you've got this uh, glass covering so you can see the engine from the outside I think it looks really neat kind of reminds you of some different cars like you know some of the Ferraris that are like that or Lamborghinis Let's close this up. And this is nice. It's kind of like soft closing. So you just push it down and it'll close down. And so you've got that window right there and you can see the engine through the window. Or the glass. <laughs> Looks really nice. I just like the look of the car with, I think that rear spoiler really makes it look kind of different than most C8s that you ever see. Um, I was kind of joking with some people that it kind of looks like the Batmobile, this one, because it's all finished and all black. I mean, obviously a little different, but it's the Corvette Batmobile. Um, one thing that was kind of interesting, too, is this was the first uh, Corvette to ever have a right-hand drive straight from the factory. Not that this one is, but they sold out of right-hand drives, or they sold 300, something like that, within 60 hours of releasing that they were going to sell the right-hand drive model. Kind of cool that they're building a straight from the factory now if you're in like Australia or Japan or something. So from the side, it has a really fierce and sporty look. Uh, very sleek. I do like that you have more space in this one than a convertible. And then again, it just has the target top. So it's super light and you can just take the target top off if you kind of want to have a little bit more of a convertible feel. So let's get inside and we can check out the interior. We have our handle right underneath here, very simple, and you've got your Stingray badging on the door sill, I really like that, super simple, it's got a really clean look, it's finished with a jet black interior in here, the door panel, it's got nice stitching on it, you've got your all your buttons over there, windows, Bose speakers, everything great like that. Let's hop inside and start it up. All right. <laughs> just really one of the coolest interiors you have the steering wheel that's kind of like squared a little bit I don't know it's really neat but then you've got your multi-function steering wheel so you have all the buttons over here you got your cruise control all of that you got your adjustments right here and your volume you've got the Corvette badging right on the center and then I really just love this all digital gauge or you know instrument cluster right here all the gauges are really neat they're all in like kind of different uh, types of gauges you got your oil pressure up there temperature you got the gas and it shows you how many miles till empty you've got your and then your rpms and your digital uh, speedometer that's really neat I don't know it just looks really cool one thing I like is over here you have your different mode selector so you can just turn that to do a different mode and then the instrument cluster will like change for each mode. So in sport mode, it has kind of this look. And then you've got track mode. And I really like how it puts the RPMs up at the top like that and that kind of uh, different like scale. It's kind of a little different. And then you've got different gauges up here. I don't know, it's really neat. Oh, it sounds so cool. Anyways. You've got all your stuff right here. It is touchscreen too, so you can just kind of do that if you wanna just, you know, put whatever you want on. You got all kinds of stuff, Spotify, if you do that, all your radio, phone settings. You do have all of your um, park, reverse, all that stuff. It's kind of different. You got the buttons, which I know some companies have been doing that. It's kind of different to get used to, but it's really neat as well. You've got your mode selector right there. I really like this Corvette badging and the stitching. It looks really neat. And then right here, you can hide the cup holders or you can have them visible. 
nice and simple. I really like that you can close it up and then you don't have to see them at all. Kind of keeps it nice and sleek in here. And then of course you have your center console. Oh, there we go. And you've got your USB, you've got your aux cord, all your different plugins right there. And you got a little bit of space. Not too bad actually for a Corvette. And then I do like this too, this is really neat. So you've got the driver temperature settings right there, all of your temperature settings down here, and then you got passenger temperature settings. It's kind of a neat little spot to put all the temperature settings, but at least they're utilizing kind of like this space, they're putting buttons there. And then one of my favorite things about the C8s is I think these are just so neat, these little, um, you adjust the, the vents like this, you just kind of move it around and wiggle it but it, um, it works really nice. It's just kind of different, it looks cool. It kind of keeps it in a, a sleek look just cause you don't have a big knob or anything. Button right there for the glove box. Good space in the glove box. That's probably where you're gonna keep most of your stuff in this car. But you do have a little bit of space in the door panels too, which is nice. It's really nice to have that extra space. And then of course you have, I like this contrast stitching on the seats. And you got the perforated leather. Really great shape in here. You've got the Corvette emblems up there as well. It's just in really great condition. I think the best thing about this car is it still smells brand new. I mean, it's only, you know, it basically is brand new, but it still smells new, which is so funny. And then right there, you just got one little lever up there and then two over here for your target top if you want to do that. Got your sun visors, great shape. I mean, everything in this car is in great shape. It's like brand new. And then you've got your OnStar SOS if you want to use that. Hopefully you don't have to. And then you've got this like frameless rear view mirror. It's really, really sleek. Lights in here as well. Overall though, it's just in really great shape. All right, let's go for our test drive. Safety first in this one.
Make sure and check it out on our website, autohousingnaples.com, and let us help you drive your dream.